Hamish. Arthur! <laughs> Come in. You said, uh, we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. <laughs> Let's talk a while. Sure. <clears throat> so what do you do? Me? Uh, I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. It's funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer, man. The bodies lay so thick, you could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. <sighs> Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. Hoo-wee! <laughs> what have we here? Yeah. She's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. She went around to the left. Around the lake. She's down here somewhere. Keep up. Gotta get her while she's here. Wolf shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men, neither. You hear that? Yep. Quickly now, this way. Up there, on the outcrop, you see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. We're on to her. Come on. Okay. Damn! I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. View loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. Easy. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. <laughs> yep. That was her dinner. <laughs> now, where'd she get to? My guess, she's gone somewhere over there. Well, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight. Oh, if we gotta chase her, let's chase her. All right. Come on. Like she's headed into the woodland. We're gonna have to track her through the scrub. Better. Be on foot. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, boy. There's a wolf about. She went in there, all right. We gotta track her. Now, you wanna take the lead, or shall I? I'd prefer if you did it. It's all right. Okay, I'll track her. Stick to me. Got the trail. This way. Keep behind me. Let's take this slow. Keep your gun out, just in case.
Apache could be a half mile in front of us, or behind that next bush. Keep your eyes up, okay? I got mine in the dirt. Let's head down here. I think we're close. Hey, a bear! Is that the she-wolf? Stay calm. Hey, back up! Oh, stay more. calm! There's more of them! We walked into something here! I was ready to offer my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Damn you! You all right? Yeah. Damn. Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't either. <laughs> Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. Speak the stories he tell. Yeah. Easy now. Okay, then.
there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. And how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus. Breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh, no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you... <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. 
I think it's, it's best if I, if I make... <coughs> Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Indians to blame. You never listen to Morning. me. It's like talking to a goddamn Morning. Wall. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. She said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do.
ain't a baddie. I ain't. Of course not. Well, dearie. I've been to... That's enough now, partner. Oh, You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Listen. Listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was, uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> You loved him. You did everything for him. Let's get you home. All right. Let's go. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Yeah. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. What's up with you? Mama! <gasps> Mama! <laughs> oh, you silly boy. Oh, Archie, what do we do? Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. <sighs> don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Yeah. <laughs> 